All right, so again, I'm Mike the Machine with Nextflex Land. We covered the basic foundation program of how to train your neck. Once you've done that for a while and you've mastered the basic, because again, why? Basically the mastery. These are advanced techniques, okay? This is gonna take your neck to a whole other flipping level. So the first thing we're gonna cover is how to train the front of your neck. We're gonna do that with the chain that comes, because I told you in the first video, you know, the chain is for advanced tech tactics. Techniques, tactics, same thing, right? So that's what we're gonna do. You need a cable stack, so if you're at a gym, all gyms have cable stacks. Mine happens to be a plate loaded. So, for instructional purpose, I'm gonna take the chain off just to show you how I'm gonna get into this situation, because it is a little bit difficult at times, I guess you'd say. What you wanna do, you got the chain, okay? You can simply slip the chain, slide the chain, slip, slide, whatever, in through the hook that you have at your gym, like so, okay? Now again, don't forget, if you have a small melon, the flag goes on the front, you got a big melon like me, flag goes on the back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook this to, not the dog ears, I'm gonna hook it to the sides, all right? But I'm gonna put on my head first. So again, basics, put on our head, we pull it down to make sure it's snug, so you don't want it slipping and sliding on yourself. And you take the chin strap, because why? It's there for a flipping reason, and you're gonna make it snug, not to the point of choking you out. Now, what we want to do is, we don't want to make, we don't want this all jacked up, all right? So we're going to simply take one side, not the dog ear, you want to go above, the rings above your ears. Bam, there's one. Now, this is where it becomes a little interesting. So you got to kind of finagle your way in here. So I'm just sitting on my heels, I'm going to pull this up like so. Don't go to the dog ears. If you do, you're going to have to be crooked, it's going to mess you up. Ring above your ear. Feel for it. I missed it. That happens. You got to feel for it. There it is. Now, see my arm, one's out, one's in. You don't want that. Chain needs to be behind you. Simply now, get up like so. Now look what's happened. I haven't done anything yet. Look, the weight is pulling my chin back. What is that doing? The front of our neck. Now, if you're a fighter, hands up here, doesn't matter. Hands across your chest, if you feel comfortable there, hands on your hips. I like my hands on my hips, okay? What I'm gonna do is pull this chin to my chest. Down, up. Again, bodybuilders, banana hammock people, run around banana hammock flexing, nice and slow. So when you go down, squeeze this son of a gun till you feel like your veins are gonna burst out of your head. Fighters, hockey players, football, all that kind of trash, boxers, fast pace. Why? Because you wanna try to duplicate what you're gonna experience in that said field, ring, bloody death match, cage match. All right, so now carrying on with the neck curl, I'm gonna show you three different ranges because everybody's different. One range that works for someone might not work for you. For example, my favorite range is to work from the bottom, but I'm gonna show you from the bottom, preferably the middle and the top. The top is really good. We got a lot of opportunities that we can do with this, which we will cover. But for now, I'm gonna show you the bottom. So we're gonna use our band. What we're gonna do is, you gotta use a power rack for this because it gives you the ability with a J hook to have different levels. We're gonna hook this up, not to the dog ears. I wanna go up to the side, the ring above my ear. Don't forget that. Now, if you're using a power rack, use your brain house group. Don't you know, sit on this with your keister. You might have a problem. We don't want to do that, right? So be mindful where you sit, okay? I'm going to hook this up. Again, where? To the side ring, not the dog ear. Now, I want my hands like this. I'm going to simply stand up. Now, look, it. my head's already being pulled back. Where should your hands be? Again, as a fighter, you can be up here, wrestler, here, or on your hips. I'm going to keep on my hips for tutorial purposes. Now, this is already putting strain on my head, but I'm going to step forward a little bit. Why? Because you have to find what range works for you and what amount of tension works for you. This feels like this is my happy little lane right here. So it's pulling my head back, and I'm gonna start to curl, okay? Again, why I go fast, I'm a former wrestler. I might be 46, but I might still have another match in me. Who knows, you know? If it's too easy, step forward even more, increase the tension, bam. That's number one. Number two, you wanna take this off. Why? Because we've got a switch, okay? I'm only gonna take one side off. So middle range, a lot of people like middle range better than bottom range. It's kind of easier. When you're at the bottom, there's a lot more tension. Middle range is most people's happy place. So we're gonna simply take this, wrap it around the J-hook. Again, you wanna be in between the band, and we're gonna hook it to the top. Ring above your ear, not the dog ear. And the same concept, right? Hands be wherever you want. For this purpose, I'm gonna cross them in front of my lower belly, and I'm gonna start to curl. It's the real easy fluid motion. All of it with the neck flex is a fluid motion. If it's too easy, take a little couple steps forward, heads pull back, and work. That seems to be everybody's happy place. But again, know your body, see what works for you. Now we're gonna to go to the top. As I stated earlier, the top gives us all sorts of options, which we will cover, okay? Now I gotta take the band off to set this up, no big deal. I said simplicity, it's easy. Up top. Now, again, if you're gonna do this, 
You don't want to have an object that's going to move. This has weights on the bottom. Make sure it's something fixed, because if not, you're going to pull the whole thing on top of you, mess yourself up. In a neck flex land, we don't want injuries. We want to build flipping necks. All right, so here we go. Same thing, not the dog ears, top rings. This one is nice. So I'm going to step forward. Look, my chin's coming up. Now this way, I always keep my hands up like I'm fighting. Okay, I'm going to curl. Now that is too much tension. I can feel already. I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, even sit my legs down slightly. There it is, that's my happy place. That's my happy lane. Now use your head, look at this. If you squat down more, look. My neck comes up even more, more tension. Three ranges, that was two. <laughs> Three ranges, I'm getting excited. Neck flex land, neck curl. We just finished how to work the front of our neck. Now, keeping in mind with the cable stack, we should have to work the back of your neck. The granddaddy, the one that I set a record that still stands flipping today about, oh I don't know, 13, 15 flipping years ago. 300 pound seated neck lift. I'm not doing that to boast, I'm just saying, this is the granddad, this builds the back of the neck like no other. So what you're gonna do is, put your harness on, make sure it's tight, strap is snug, not choking you out. Now what you wanna do, pull this down. Here's what we're gonna do. This time, we're gonna use the trusted dog ears. We're not using the sides, okay? These are the dog ears, these are the sides above your head. Hook the chain to the dog ears, all right? Don't make sure the chain is crisscrossed. You wanna just put it here, one, simple, I'm gonna look at you. Here's number two, right? Now, what you wanna do is, usually I do this sitting down on a bench, but some people don't like that. You can do it standing or seated, it's a preference thing. Either way, the, con the, the workout is the same. All you're gonna do is simply use your hands. This is called a C-clamp. Don't do this nonsense. Don't do this nonsense, a false grip. C-clamp that son of a gun right above your knee where your quad is. Why? Because it gives you support, okay? Now, you don't want your back round. No rounding. Stick your butt out, flatten this thing out. Why? Because it protects your back. Legs go about shoulder width. And all you're gonna do is curl your rear of your head to the back of your middle back. So, like so. Now, if you notice, I backed up a little bit. Why? Because the weight wasn't off yet. There was no support on my neck. So I want to make sure the tension's there. And I'm gonna simply lift. Then to go back, lift, back. You're either gonna go at a slow pace or a fast pace. Either way, depends on what your goals are. But that right there is what I consider the granddaddy, the grandmaster of building your neck. That's the, one of the main building blocks and foundation of building the rear of your neck. We covered the three ranges doing the neck curl. We can do the same thing for the rear of our neck. I want you to keep in mind though, let's say you're just in your house, your garage, you're in a hotel, and you're like, well, I wanna still train my neck. and don't have anything to do it with. Look, with your bin and the door stopper, you can do the same thing as long as you use your door stopper. No big deal. It's the beauty of the neck flex. We're the be all in all the neck training. Now, moving on, we're gonna throw that to the side. Back of the neck, I'm gonna start at the top. Three ranges. You gotta learn and find what range works for you. For me, the top, I find the easiest. And it's probably a good place for the beginners to start with, but you gotta find what works for you where you feel comfortable. So we're gonna go on the side rings again, okay? And what we do is we're gonna simply lean back, okay? As you can see, there's already tension on the band. Hands go wherever you want and put them in the middle of my back. Now I'm just gonna start neck curling. Now that's not much tension. I'm gonna step further back. There it is. See how my chin's going down? Now, there's my lane. That's my happy place, okay? That's range number one. Range number two, midline. Same concept. Just put, make sure you have something that's fixed or your door stopper. Hook this bad boy up like this. Here we are again. Chin's already down, right there. That's a good place, but let's say it's, I'm, I've been doing this a little while, step back a little more, boom. Now that's more tension. That's number two. Range number three. This one is my, I like the bottom, but this is much harder, why? Because you're pulling from a further distance. <clears throat> but it's the same thing. Hook it up, okay? Look at how much further my chin's already down. On this one, I put my hands on my back, and I look, look at the range of motion you get. That Neckzilla's in Netflix land is number three. Try it out, see what works for you. you. Give us an email back, let us know. We're here to help you. All right, here we are with the main Big Daddy exercise. This is like the grandmaster of them all. This is the oldest of old school. We're finally gonna use these dog ears with weight. For all you that wanna do it, the ladies as well as the gents. Here's what we're gonna do. We hook it to the dog ear, we're gonna go through the middle hole. We're gonna hook this to our other dog ear. Now, very important, as I alluded to earlier in the video, don't false grip this. That's like, don't. 
Don't do that, don't do this. This is all power, okay? You can build some serious strength as well as mass doing this exercise. You wanna C-clamp this bad boy like this, above the knee, not your thighs, because your thighs are too big. They should be too big, don't forget leg day. Here, legs go out, chin is down, and here we go. Up, watch out for your special parts. Down, up. And again, I do this at a fast pace, but you bodybuilders, you don't have to. Go nice and slow, hold that for a while. Now, one thing you're gonna notice when you're doing this, why the neck flex is so awesome is that with the band that the neck flex comes with, there's no herky-jerky motion. As you see with the chain, you get a good pace. This thing's gonna jerk sometimes, all chains. Right now I'm in a good motion. And that's the granddaddy building the thickest of thick on the back of the neck. Now we're gonna work the size of your neck. Why is that important? Number one, fighters, it's a must. You have to work the side of your neck because you're gonna get cranked, neck pulled, hooked, stretch every which way. Bodybuilders, look. It's one thing to have a big front neck and rear neck, but what's the size add to? Your aesthetics, very important. I like simplicity, so this is very easy. All you're gonna do, because I train at a high pace, I have to go from one move to the next. You're gonna take your chain. If you're in a commercial gym, most gyms nowadays are all adjustable like this. Even if yours is not, just as a top and bottom, you want the bottom. Simply take your chain, hook it here to the bottom. Now what you wanna do is take the chain, don't use the dog ear. Go see the ring above your ear and hook it. Look, we're working, right? No, we're not, why? Because the stack is still on the flipping rack. So how do we fix this to get into movement? We step. Now look what happened. See how I stepped just a little bit? The stack is off the rack, my head is being pulled to my left. Where are my hands? They could be here as a fighting stance, elbows in a garage bird basket, or hands on hips, which is what I like. Here's the movement. Look, I can even lean a little. Now my ear is here, I wanna bring my right ear to my right shoulder, and again, if you're a fighter, you want to go faster, right? Because as I covered in the basics, you master the basics, build the foundation. Now we're on advanced te techniques and tactics, right? Faster, bodybuilders. If you want to go slower, slow and squeeze. And the beauty of doing this with a cable machine is you can add more weight and with the chain. It gives you the ability to do eight reps, 10 reps. I don't like to go below eight's work in my neck, but I said simplicity, check this out. That was one side of the neck, now look at this, boom. Turn around, look, this ring, not the dog ear. Hook it here, again, nothing's happening. Step, stack is off the rack, hands on hips, left ear to left shoulder. Slow if you want, focus on that contraction or rip it out. We did the fronts, we did the backs, we did old school. Now, we're gonna work some rotation. So all you fighters always talk about rotation. You're gonna take your band off, you're gonna put it around what? An object that doesn't flip and move, because if it moves, it's gonna pull on top of you. So all you can do is get the band, Put it around something that doesn't move, and you're gonna simply slip this band through the hook, like so, okay? Right here, we got nothing. Now look, now it's tightened up. Now, to set up into this, what you wanna do, you're gonna go through the side ring, okay? Here, go through the front ring, go through this side ring. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Like this. Then you're gonna go to the back ring, and you're gonna hook it, voila. Now look what I did. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is up a little more. Now watch what happens here. I'm gonna twist. Just like so. Again, you can, if you're a fighter, hands up, rotate, rotate. You gotta feel what works for you. I'm gonna put this band down, see if I get a different angle. Usually I wanna be straight across. This feels like it's pulling me a little bit better. Rotate, okay? You do the same thing on the other side, but that's one way to work rotation. All you fighters are talking about doing jaw work, right? How do we do that with this? Very simple. Now, I don't have any suede with me. You get a piece of suede, even your mouthpiece, but a suede to go around this. But I'm gonna hold this in my mouth. Why? Because you're always talking about clench down on that mouthpiece. So let's say we go here in the band, in my jaw, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this in my jaw, and I'm gonna start twisting my head to my right. Again, tension. Right now is nothing. Arch. Watch it from the rear, same thing. Now here's how I would do that. We talked about reps a lot. With this, I think it works best with time, because this is more advanced techniques. Because counting reps doing this, I think if you've got a three minute match, if you're a boxer or you're a five minute MMA, card carrying, tough guy, five minutes, try to do it for five minutes. Your jaw and your neck is gonna be on fire. As I told you earlier, 
Up top, we got a lot of options for all you fighters out there. Now keep in mind, I am a wrestler, not a boxer. But I'm gonna show you a great drill you can do that's only with the neck flex. For all you fighters, boxers, MMA guys, check this out. Look at the strain we have on our neck, right? Hands go up, we practice our head movement. So here we go, let's do a couple punches. Jab, three, three slips. Jab, jab, left hand. One, two, three. We're slipping, under, under. Jab, jab, slip. Here we go. Easy, why do you wanna do that? Because when you're fighting, if you're moving your head, what's this doing? It's giving you extra resistance as you're moving forward, slipping your head. Make it a little faster, building your neck at the same time. Everything we've been showing you today, you can also do with shrugging, with dumbbells. Because again, with the neck being yoked, traps is part of it too. This isn't a trap video, but it also plays a huge role. What we're gonna do is have the band already attached to the dog ears. What you wanna do, I like doing this seated on my knees, but you can do it standing up, but I like it on the knees better. Put your knees over the band. Make sure it's not like this, where the band's gonna slip up and smash you in the nose. Make sure your knees are over the band good. Now what you wanna do, you're gonna grab the dumbbells, you're going to stand up on your knees. Look at the tension I'm getting. Now all I'm gonna do now, my head is down, I'm gonna shrug, lift, or vice versa. You can go down, you can lift, shrug. Down, lift, shrug. Again, you can go slow and squeeze, have a static hold. You know, your bodybuilding fellas, this is me, I'm gonna come head up, shrug, shrug down, head down, head up, shrug up, shrug down, head down. That's how I would do it, fast, up. But bodybuilders, again, what do we always say? Work that neck, contraction, pause. Either way, it's all good. And I know I sound like a broken record, but look, neck flex is the be all end all. There is no other, often imitated, never duplicated, possibilities are limited to your imagination. I'm Mike the Machine. Welcome to Netflix, man. Ciao.